In this video, we are going to go over what was the longest government shutdown, what was happening at that particular time, and historically, who has been responsible along party lines for government shutdowns, and what the current Biden administration has to say. Make sure you stay tuned, and welcome back, everyone. So very happy to have you back for another update. Make sure to check out the previous video on how a government shutdown would affect IRS operations pin in the comment section as well as in the description box now the federal government is nearing another shutdown its third shutdown in 10 years with little sign of any deal being reached before the deadline which is midnight saturday now the 2018 to 2019 shutdown over Trump's border wall funding lasted 34 full days, making it the longest shutdown in the U.S. history. Trump finally signed a bill to reopen the government without his demands being met. Now, that occurred December 21st, 2018 until January 25th, 2019. That shutdown forced hundreds of thousands of federal employees to be furloughed uh, without pay for many, many weeks. Now, before that, the record was 21 days in 1995 and 1996 when President Bill Clinton refused to bend to steep spending cuts and tax reductions proposed by House Speaker Gingrich at that particular time. Public opinion was on Clinton's side and Republicans eventually caved according to reports. Now, Senator Minority Leader Mitch McConnell acknowledged on September 19 that public opinion has not sided with Republicans during previous shutdowns. He stated that he is not a fan of government shutdowns and he has seen a few of them over the years and they have never produced any policy changes and Republicans have historically come out as losers during these shutdowns. Now, what is the Biden administration saying about the possible shutdown when asked on Friday if Biden should bear any responsibility for the shutdown? White House Budget Director stated that absolutely not and accused the Republicans of being cavalier with people's lives. Also, Biden's senior advisor blamed the looming shutdown on House Republicans. If no spending bill passes Congress by the end of Saturday, federal workers would stop getting paid. Air travel could be affected as well as food benefits will pause for some of the country's most vulnerable families. Make sure to share your comments about how you're feeling about the possible shutdown as well as previous shutdowns. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more updates.